Hey everybody, today is December 22nd, 2014, it's me Digitronic, and this is another Apple Motion 5 tutorial video. Okay, so have you ever wanted to do animated handwriting using your own handwriting in a video? It's very easy to do in Motion 5. I'll show you how it's done step by step. The main thing you need to do is to come down here and use this brush tool right there. Click on it and then letter by letter start writing whatever it is you want to write. Now for the writing part you can either use if you're on a Mac laptop the trackpad or a mouse for better control or a Wacom tablet with a pen that's up to you I'm just using my laptop's trackpad okay so let's start writing you won't see on the screen right away what you're writing but you will see it See, right now, it doesn't show anything. I wrote H, but you don't see anything on the screen until you play. See, what I did wrong right there is I did all the whole letter at the same time instead of moving the playhead. So that's a lesson right there. What you have to do is you have to move the playhead forward every time you do the writing. So let me delete this. Let's start over again. I want to say hello. So I go to the brush tool again. So you see that and then Do that part, move it ahead. It's a little hard work, but if it's for something short, it's totally okay. So right now, we have a full H. And let me just do the rest of it really quickly. My handwriting isn't that great as you can see. <laughs> now I don't know why it did that. Now let's undo, add shape. Let's try that part again. So now when we play it back, See that long space? You can fix that by bringing this part a little bit closer. So let's play back again. Well, there you go. That's a rough um, version of doing a handwriting right there. 
not too precise and not too quick, but you get the idea. Anyways, um, there's also quite a bit of um, effects you can do with this. So let's take a look at that. Choose the whole group. Inspector. Shape, filters, behaviors, properties, style, stroke, advanced geometry. Let's go to properties here. We can change the opacity of the whole thing. Let's do it at half. And you can see what it looks like. Not as full opacity as it used to be. All right. Let's see. Add drop shadow, crop. Let's change the opacity back. Blend mode you can change. Now, you can, under shape, do a lot of other things. You can do fill, that fills it up, if that's what you want. And you can change the brush type. So let me show you. Now it's airbrush. Now let's see what you can do individually. The letter O, go to the shape. Let's change it from airbrush to solid. So that looks different. Let's change the color to, let's say, red. Let's change the width a little bit. There you go. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of different options here. You can try the fill and you can change the color of the fill to maybe blue like that. Change the fill opacity. Now let's see what it looks like. When you play it back. <laughs> there you go. That's kind of funny that the fill comes first. And let's say another one of the letters you want to change up a little bit. Let's say you want to change up the E from airbrush to maybe solid again. Or just keep it as airbrush this time. And change the color to green. and the spacing you can change if you do a fill you can change that to under fill so it's covered up by the fill now and let's say we want to do this the color green So, it would end up looking like this. Just some fun things you can do with the handwriting. And of course you can add the usual effects as you've noticed each letter is a different layer here. Look at all these layers. And the letter H, because it has three different parts, 
is three different layers on its own. So if you select each layer individually, you can do pretty much all the effects that motion has to offer. That's basically it for this tutorial <laughs> on how to do handwriting or animated handwriting using Motion 5. Thank you for, for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash dgtronic. I will see you in the next video.